everyone. This is Alyssa from Olivia in Rochester here on this Wednesday with a new workout class for you. Um, rather than the total body workout, our Wednesdays are now going to be strength classes. Um, so those will be with me on Wednesdays. I'll get into what the changes will be there, but just a reminder of the things that are the same. This is a 30 minute uh, exercise class. Minimal equipment is needed, and I'll get into that too. Um, but taking breaks as needed, always doing that um, for water or just to catch your breath, and then talking to a doctor before starting any sort of exercise program. But the changes for this class are um, rather than a total body workout here on Wednesdays, it's going to be focusing more on specific muscle groups and gaining strength um, with more weight, Hopefully added resistance and progress, progression, progressing with your strength and um, you're increasing the amount of weight you can lift. So we'll get into the equipment like I said. I don't want you to think that you have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. But um, focusing more on muscle groups specifically. Um, we're going to do for this month upper body and lower body splits. So today will be an upper body um, routine where we will work our chest shoulders and our abdominal muscles. Um, next week is going to be lower body. The week after that will be upper body again and then the last week will be lower body again. And then for next month I may switch things up and do different types of splits. So there are different ways of splitting up your muscle groups. So this month it's upper body, lower body, back and forth. So another big change then is the equipment. So you can still definitely use your body weight uh, if that's all that you're really able to do, or if you just don't have any equipment and you're not interested in getting any, um, there are modifications for things, so you're still okay there. But if you really want to get the most out of these classes, you're going to want to maybe invest in, you can start small with some lower dumbbells, and then as you go along, you may find that those are getting too easy and you may want to get heavier, so increasing. It's kind of just depending on how much you want to invest, so maybe you just want to start small and see where this takes you and maybe who knows you'll be pumping iron uh, in no time so so today is upper body chest shoulders triceps i have or excuse me chest shoulders abdominals so i have some different equipment um, that i will show for different exercises but like i said you can still use body weight or if you're using water bottles or soup cans or whatever you have that's fine um, so some of the equipment that I have for today, and it will change every week, but these are sort of the things that you can expect. Um, some dumbbells that maybe range in size or are a little bit heavier, offer a little bit more resistance. So we will be doing more weight and lower reps, repetitions. But if you, that's another thing to modify. If you don't want to get heavier weight and you notice that you're, progressing and what you're doing is getting too easy, you can just increase the repetition, so adding in more um, of the movement. But um, some heavier dumbbells are ranging in size, something that's going to be a challenge, like pretty moderate level. So it's not overly heavy, like you can barely pick it up, but it's not going to be super light where you're just, you feel like you're not getting much out of it. Um, kettlebells are good, so if you have something like that, we can make use of that every week. Um, this type of resistance band is good um, for an upper body workout. I also have a medicine ball here. So if you have anything like that, we'll make use of that today. I also have a yoga ball, stability ball, different names that they're known as, but um, we'll use this today, but I also have a modification in case you don't have it. But if you have one, maybe sitting around your house, you can get that out for today. But like I said, going on week by week, just kind of whatever you have, maybe laying around the house that you've collected, um, just bring it out and you might find a way to work it in, especially if it's going to add more resistance and make your workout more of a challenge. So getting into this workout for this week, we're doing chest, shoulders, and abdominal muscles. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to warm up first, like the usual warm up I like to do, about 30 seconds of each starting with jogging in place. Here we go. Since I talk so much there, I'm hoping I have enough time for everything, but some things are gonna change too, where we're gonna do 
different sets well, a couple of times before we move on to the next round of exercises, the next circuit. All right, switching to punches, so planting the feet, punching across, loosening up the upper body with the twist here. After this, we have jumping jacks. Starting back at the top for our chest. 
You're gonna start back with another round of push-ups, as many as you can. Then we'll move on to the floor press again. Then moving back to that, that spinning press again, so just a push-out. After that, we'll move on to our shoulders. Um, give yourself like a little quick break here, get a drink. Then we're starting right back into set number two. So down in the push-up position. Remember you're doing as many as possible. For time's sake, I'm just gonna do a couple here and then I'm gonna move on, but you're doing as many, as many push-ups as you can as one set. Here we go. Just keep on going with that until you can't anymore. Next, grabbing those weights or whatever you were using back here on the floor. Back to the mat. We've got 12 more. Here we go. One. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. dumbbell what this one's going to look like here. So 15. Then we're moving on to the shoulders, holding the weight up. I would hold the dumbbell like this. You can hold it this way. The more you have your hands together, the more you're going to feel it here in the chest muscles. So pushing out, we have 15. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen is the goal here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one more, fifteen. All right, awesome. Moving on, we have laterals to front raise. This is for our shoulders. So what a lateral raise is. I'm going to demonstrate with these bands here. So if you have something like this that you're using, this is what it would look like. The more stretch you get, the more resistance is going to be added. The more you come in, it's going to be a little bit easier. So we're doing two, um, 10. So we're lifting out to the side, bringing it in and back down. That's one lateral to front. Here we go. Up, up or front. That's two. Out to the side, into the front. Three, four, five. If you're using dumbbells, you're just holding one in each hand. Six, same movement. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Next. We have a scap shin. This one's kind of tricky. So we're only gonna do 10 here. Um, so you can kind of get used to the feel of it. You can use your dumbbells. You can also use those bands or the way I was just using. Um, but we are gonna do 10 scap shins. So how you're holding the dumbbells is angling it out about 45 degrees from your body. Feet should be hip width apart, slight bend in the knee, with soft knee what that's known as, never locking the knees. So weights down at the side, palms are facing front. We're lifting the weight from a 45 degree angle pointing out, straight up, back down, that was one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, one more, 10. All right, moving on, we've got an upright row. So you can use the dumbbells, one in each hand. You can do one dumbbell, uh, put both hands on it. You can use the medicine ball, anything where the weight is gonna be here in the center. So starting holding the weight, both hands together. Same standing position that you're just in, soft knee. We're pulling the weight up, and our elbows are shooting out to the side. 
okay? So we've got 15 of those starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, one more, 15, awesome. Last one for shoulders. Again, using whatever weight you can. Just make sure that you're comfortable with it because this one's going up over your head. So don't do too heavy uh, where you don't have good control of it. So we've got 10 here. This is a push press. So what we're doing, starting position, the weights are up at our shoulders. Our palms are facing forward. Elbows are bent 90 degrees. What it would look like from the side. Same position, standing position you've been in here with the feet here with the part, soft knee. What we're doing is bending down slightly at the knee and pushing up through our knees, but through ultimately putting that into our shoulders, pushing the weight up. So here we go, we've got 10. One, two, three, four, not a full squat, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not a full squat. You're not squatting all the way back. It's not really working your legs at all. It's more just driving through those shoulders. All right, we're going to do that one more time for the shoulders here. Before, so we'll take a little break. I just like to take a little quick break between sets so get some water or whatever you need just catch your breath and then we're starting with the laterals to front raise and we'll 10 of those move on to the scaptions 10 of those upright row 15 of those then back to the push press 10 of those so this first one here we go laterals to front i'm going to demonstrate with the dumbbells 10 remember lifting out bringing in that's one out, in, two. Out, front, three. Four.
seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, awesome. Now we've got one round in each of some abdominal movements. So when I say one round, it's one set. So everything we're doing here, we're doing one time through. So hopefully you're feeling good about that. You can always do it twice or three times, however many you want. The sets that we just did, if you felt like you wanted more, you can do as many times as you'd like. I wouldn't recommend going over four, but that's just me, all right? So this first exercise is a stability ball exchange. I'm actually not ready for that yet, so slow my roll here. So if you have this ball, perfect. If you don't, and you were using any type of weight, so even if you had a dumbbell, it's not gonna be quite the same because you're not gonna wanna exchange the weight between your hands and feet. But your movement, if you do not have a stability ball, like no one else, no one else, um, you would legs up, and you're just gonna bring the weight to your toes and bring it back down. So you're not exchanging, you're doing like a little toe tap to the weight. If you have one of these balls, lay it around. Not sure how to use it or just looking for new exercises to use with it. Maybe you have not tried this one yet. I like to start with the, the ball at my feet. You can also start it at your hands. What we're doing here is lifting and when, I'm, when the ball is in the middle, I'm bringing my hands and my, or my feet and my hands together. When the ball is in the middle, I'm grabbing it with my feet, and then I'm bringing it back down. So it's an exchange, literally. So that was one, once I bring it back to where I started. Two, do as many as you can. Three, even if you can only do one. Four, I'm just gonna keep showing you how it looks. Five. Six. Seven. If you don't want to use the ball, it's too much. You can't quite get one. If you don't have weight or the weight is a little too much, just bringing hands and feet together. Up and down, just like a V up. Pretty much the same thing as what that would end up being. All right, so as many as you can there, something a little different, hopefully you can find useful. It should be a burner, I was feeling it. Now we're gonna do these pike ins using the ball. If you have one, if you don't, I have some modifications for things that you most have in our articles. Um, but this is a pike in, so how this is gonna look. Let's see if you can handle this one. And maybe a starting point would be getting um, to get up to the ball. Maybe if you're not able to do that would be your goal. But if you're able to do that, you're coming on feet onto the ball, and then you're bringing that, your knees in towards your elbows. Your feet are staying on the ball. You're dragging it in. You're using it to keep those feet up. So I'll keep demonstrating. If you can do it, do as many as you can. If not, and you have the ball, maybe this right here, plank off of the ball is also a challenge. Um, you just, like I said, um, don't have a ball at all. What that's gonna look like, if you have hard floor, let me get rid of that one now. You have a hard surface that you're working out on. Um, a hand towel or rags or I'll use paper towels sometimes, they might not slide as well. So I would recommend some old rags. And your hard floor, it's gonna be just like this. Bringing in the knees, kicking them out. In, out, in, out. If you have a carpet, you do the same thing, but paper plates are the key there. So one under each foot. You're sliding out into a plank tucking your knees into your chest, and then shoot them back out. So as many as you can there. Even if you're just working on a plank on the ball, getting up to that position, that's great. Keep working at that. Next, we're staying down on the mat. 
We're gonna do some abdominal twists. So I say grab your weight. I'm gonna use this medicine ball. If you're gonna use a dumbbell, one is fine. Kettlebell is good. Um, if you have medicine ball, perfect for this one. Um, we're twisting to each side. I'm actually gonna demonstrate this way so you can see. One more. So holding the weight here together, bringing the knees in. We're twisting to one side, 15 each. That's two. Oops. Two. Your feet should stay up. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One more on each side and done. All right, and our last exercise for today is a plank. Like I said, we're just doing these once through here for the abdominals. We're gonna hold a plank for one minute. There we go. I do mine um, on my forearms. If you do them with your hands up, that's a different way to do them. So we're gonna hold as long as we can. The goal, the, long, the length that I'm gonna hold here is probably, for time purposes, 30 seconds. If you wanna go um, as long as you can, that's perfect. This is your last exercise to so push yourself. So holding that, remember to breathe. Remember, you're pulling up through the abdominal muscles, tightening in the belly button into the spine, pulling that into the spine. That would be your last one is a plank, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna get right into our cool down. So we're gonna stretch out the upper body today. You always wanna cool down and if a little bit of time that I take on here for a cool down is not enough. Make sure you're taking the time that you need. So we're going to do a chest stretch here. So I'll show you standing positions just the same here, soft knee. We're gonna grab our hands behind our back. And pull, looking up, pulling back through the chest. Looking up through the sky. stretch is pretty similar to the chest stretch, but you're stretching from your abdominal versus your chest. So you're standing, arms go up, and then just bending back just slightly. You don't want to put too much pressure in your spine, your lower back, but just enough till you feel a little stretch along the front. We'll also do a side stretch. So reaching one arm over, I'll start with the right. that we're doing let us know um, any feedback or questions you have you can send to fitness at livia.com uh, we post our videos every Monday through Friday on our social media page as well as YouTube um, and thank you again I'll be here next Wednesday with a lower body workout kind of going together with this upper body we'll be back again after that with another upper body and then another lower body to finish out the month so I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think and we'll see you next Wednesday.